Okay, now we continue to the second part, and um, we're going to to make start from here uh, eight centimeter, and going here. <coughs> sorry, six and. Now going up ten. Okay. And three. Okay. Going here. Three left. Three. There you are. Okay, activate suspend group and select this line here. Click here and make it circular like this. here to there and curve it this way like that <coughs> now we can delete those okay um I take the line again and from the center here I draw a vertical line aligned with this and make it 20 here select them control D move it to here there you are <clears throat> and what we're going to do now is take the morph tool and activate this here geometry method revolved and follow these lines no no backspace to delete Here, there you are. Back to line here and <coughs> curve again. Line yard here and draw here. And now, okay, and this will be our X this way. Revolve angle 360. There you are. Okay, we can preview in 3D to see our job. There we are. It's pretty nice. Really nice. Okay. Okay. Here now select both of those this and this right. this is gonna be minus one twenty nine
select it, Control D, and bring it straight up there, like this. Okay. Come back here, and um, now we're going to draw the trunk of our column okay so I'm gonna draw our column and um, I'm gonna draw first lines I'm gonna draw a line like this I'm gonna make it up here and hit OK and now I select this line right click move multiply rotate spread pair mm, 7.5 degree hit ok and make like this ok and now Take the circular method, circular tool, and draw a line like this. Okay, there you are. Make it a little bit going this way. <coughs> okay, now with this selected, you right click, move and uh, multiply. And this is gonna be per 15 degree. Like this. Okay, and now move them control D move it outside here take the morph to press space bar and click inside no this here okay and D okay. Control D and put it here exactly. There you are, and now you can delete all of those lines. Okay, activate the line and then control A and you get all of your lines selected be careful not to delete or morph here delete okay and the same for this okay and now we've got this press f5 select and elevate to um, 200 meter Bring it up 
bit of it. Control D. Bring this up here. F3. And Control F5 to show all. There we are. Okay, and uh, make uh, make a selection like this, and click inside here, and yes, choose this here, and go one centimeter, like that. come back to our section here and select Control shift d to duplicate it no. now come here bring it up make it 200 zoom closer Select. Choose this here. Bring it in. Bring it in one again. Okay. And now bring it up. Using this here, um, one hundred, one hundred thirty three. Like this. bring it in one centimeter one that's good okay there you are F3 Let's check it here. Let's draw a line to check if it's okay. Draw a line from here <coughs> going up. It's really coming inside. And there is a little mistake here, I think. This part. This has gone big, then smaller. So we come back, Control Z.
inside here. Okay, bring it inside too. And then click here again. And when you click, be careful not to touch the lines, the green lines. This is gonna be 133. good yeah <clears throat> this is good okay so um that's it and see you on the next video